3D modeling is one of those things that can get messy at times. You're going to experience all sorts of problems and challenges throughout your modeling process. Luckily, there are things that you can do in order to save yourself some headaches. This video will help you to avoid three common mistakes that a lot of 3D modeling beginners are frequently making. Tip number one, establish curvatures. You should take care of any major or minor curves in your model as early as you can in the modeling process. Anybody that has been doing 3D modeling for a while knows that creating curvy shapes and establishing curvatures are a pain to do on a detailed model, especially when the model is subdivided and has a lot of polygons. So to spare yourself the trouble, make sure you take care of curvatures in your model early in the process. Tip number two, partition your model. Separating your model into separate chunks or parts is good for several reasons. But the most important of all is to simplify the topology and edge flow. Different parts in a model require various amounts of edges or vertices to support the details on them. By separating the models, you optimize each part and use the optimal amount of polygons for that specific part. You also don't worry about transitioning from lots of edges to very little edges and vice versa. Having parts separated also means that you don't have to add many supporting loops to keep the corners tight. Of course, this depends on the situation, but it can be helpful when you are working with a polygon limit. Tip number three, don't be afraid of triangles. If you've been in the 3D modeling game for a while, you might have come across the idea that having triangles in your model means that your topology sucks. But in reality, this couldn't be further from the truth, especially when we are talking about hard surface 3D models that don't deform like many organic models do when they are animated. Game engines triangulate every 3D model or asset, so it doesn't matter if you have all quads, you will end up with triangles anyway. Triangles can be very helpful if you want to simplify the topology and save on polygons. Some of the places where triangles can be used are areas with a flat surface and minimal curves or edgy models with sharp edges and corners. So don't be afraid of triangles. Instead, use them to your advantage. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Leave a like, subscribe, take care.